Now, this one, I don't know how you're going to take it. Since you're talking about abusive relationships and marriage and how women are finding it difficult and some want to walk out, I'm even worried to share the first story, Yennefa. Hmm. <laughs> so, women are meant only for the kitchen and the bedroom. Well, artist manager Lawrence Nana Isiama Hansen, popularly known in showbiz circles as Bulldog, has stated that efforts made by women to compete with men would destroy stuff and mess up everything. Now, he passed these comments during an interview on a crowd based radio station. Now, the Shatter Movement manager dared his wife and anybody who had a um, different opinion to divorce him or cut off his head if they think he's wrong. Now, according to him, women should be for the kitchen and the bedroom and should not be sitting around men discussing important things. Oh, was that a conclusion of what he said? And there's a full stop at the end of the sentence. Amazing. So is he by any way saying that that's all his wife is good for, that's all his sister is good for, that's all his wife, mother, grandmother, great-grandmothers? Well, I'm sure to pass on the information to him when I ask Please him. Please do. <laughs> when I do. see him. Please ask him for me. <laughs> Just well, the bedroom and the kitchen, that's all for the well, wife? Well, yes. Yeah, so um, what do you think? But in all, the, in all this conversation about Phenomenal Woman, what do you think as well? And don't forget, Phenomenal Woman is showing on Sunday at 6 p.m., Maybe after watching, you can come and then we can discuss this conversation again. Are women only for the kitchen and the bedroom? Of course not. It's not up for a discussion. Well, the question is that is the kitchen and the bedroom a bad place to be? We're not saying that, but There's he said more, right? only, only. I so know, I'm clearly just he's, he's shown me the type of, you know, person, well, let me not make headlines this morning. Don't make headlines this morning, please. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it safe. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. So, uh, moving on to uh, our Ephira headmaker, um, uh, actor Kofori as well. Now, Ghanaian actor Kofori has revealed that his mother wept bitterly when he saw him on TV as a drunkard for the first time. Oh, mommy, he was just acting. Now, however, she understands his profession better now since they're all happy with his prominence he gained from local television series Dub If He Were, if you remember. Now, the comic actor explained that coming from a devoted Christian home and getting on set public as a drunkard for the first time on TV show was very difficult for him. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. I think he played that role very, very well, to a point a lot of us actually even thought that he was actually uh, drunk. But anyway, he was acting. Acting. All right, let's move on. So Brenner Boy and Coffee have met up in the studio. And guess what? So Brenner Boy got fans excited with some video clips he posted on his Instagram account. Now, the first video of him was one performing in a club, then followed by a studio session with Jamaican singer Coffee. Now, both artists are known to be fans of each other, with Coffee even performing a cover of Brenner Boy's hit single, Yay. Now, lots of fans are excited about the collaboration, which might be a combination of dancehall and Afrobeats. Watch the video on your screens. <laughs> Well, what he's smoking on there is just a cloud of vapor. It's just a chimney happening. <laughs> it's just a chimney studio. happening. <laughs> okay, so Valentine's season is going to even get more lit, as we put it in Ghana, as Debanj and Tenny are coming to visit GH this Valentine's season. Now, Nigerian hit music um, artist uh, Debanj um, will be spending some uh, Valentine's season here in Ghana and performing at Sandbox Beach uh, Club in an event dubbed One Night in Vegas. Now, the Oliver Twist hit maker will be joined by a host of other performers like Nigeria's Tenny and British band The Composers. We'll give you some more details on that one. Get in closer to the show. All right? Let's move on now. Jay-Z is in the news as well. Now, American rapper Jay-Z says he and Beyonce were not staging a protest when they, was, uh, they stayed seated during the U.S. National Anthem at the 2020 Super Bowl. Now, you recall that it had sparked a lot of conversation with regards to um, some players who refused to stand um, and, you know, upright when the uh, National Anthem was being played. Now, the speculations... Um, there were, there were speculations that the couple was sending a message to support the former NFL player, uh, Colin Kaepernick, who first kneeled during the anthem in 2016. 
Now, however, Jay-Z explained that they were in artist mode when they didn't stand while um, Demi Lovato sang. Okay, now according to him, the whole thing was not uh, premeditated at all, but instead a case of him doing his job that is Rock Nation co uh, Corporation that uh, has a partnership with the NFL, which includes producing the Super Bowl halftime show and other major performances. Check out the video on your screens now. Well, it's a big deal when Jay-Z sits during the national anthem, so of course, it will spark everyone to talk about it. But like he said, he had nothing to do with any premeditated idea of uh, disrespecting the national anthem. He was just doing his job, and he was in artist mode. Anyway, it's a wrap on uh, what's trending this morning. Coming up next, Jennifer takes us to the world of sports. Don't go away.